Archer on some mail. Or, nope, he's gonna go for the harassment on Universe. With the charge in, they'll get a lot of damage actually in the middle lane. They do manage to get the kill on some mail. Universe still gonna be gone on though. Not enough time for aggressive. No, it is. He's gonna be able to get the chains. Universe is gonna be dying here. CDC already starting off 2 0. Peter comes in, but not much that PPD can do. And he is, what, 2,000 gold away from the Blink Dagger, and this is the perfect time for like Clockwork to go and try and kill him, but speaking of clock... Yeah, it looks like he's gonna be dead, uh, hexed up, body blocked as much as possible. They'll give the kill over to RTZ, so first kill of the game, both picked off by a rotation. Yeah, he's the only weak part in their lineup right now. Darkseer's in the jungle, so there's not really a gank opportunity there. Oh, Sumail. Yeah, the charge is coming in, they're gonna try and hit the RP, but no, the charge comes in first, and he just gets taken out by the Laguna Blade. They really wanted that pick off on Shiki. But it just doesn't. The uh, oh, they're actually going for a kill and them charge on bottom. Yeah, they're gonna try and fight him up. XD pops his uh, mango immediately tries to get the combination off. They push him back with the cogs and that's enough for Shiki to obtain the kill via the Laguna Blade. It's back those heroes. The universe actually runs himself past aggressive. Is actually gonna bounce back to his remnant. They're just gonna surround universe. He's gotta search up in a second, but we'll get the chain. The charge spins him off and. Universe gets caught pretty heavily there. He thought the aggression would open up space for him to uh, push in the lane, but that's not the case. Still, they have they have two ups that rewards deep in their jungle. Oh, this is going to be dangerous for XD as he's going to be uh, RP'd underneath that tier 1 tower. They do not have enough of the shockwave just yet. That's why he backs away and gets enough with his bottle in order to get the shockwave to finish off that clockwork. We thought he was going to have a bit more success with Lina, as Milk mentioned, is really good versus the anti mage, so they can still afford to let him get the farm. Looks like Fear is going to be a quick pickoff feeder. We'll be able to stun up the clockwork, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any rotations. Prime RP target. You want to kill her. If you don't kill her, you have the possibility of getting Yules, and then you'll be caught out of nowhere uh, without being able to skew her out. They managed to get a skewer back on a Q. Looks like that should be a kill, but the heroes are going to come in from the side. Nice. Two man Kongs are going to set things up. Just the combination wipes out two heroes quite easily. The Winter Wyvern did go down, but it looks like it's going to cost them three, maybe even four. As Fear's going to be the next target. Bounce back by the ultimate from Garter, and that's going to be an ultra kill for Shiki to wipe things out. What a what an excellent hook shot from XZ. Catch flame guard's going to be able to tank up most of that. Damage. It's only a level one ice bath. Like it, yeah. I don't think this kill can happen. They have to wait for a flame guard, and it's off right now. Here they go. There it is. The ice bath leading things in. They're going to follow up the macro pyre. Can they get the damage out? No, he jumps to his remnant, and now he's going to bottle up, jump to another remnant, and uh, man, it's not even necessary. He could just TP back. Oh, going to lose uh, PPD. It looks like is he can turn around and hex Garter in time, but that just means he gets caught by the old scepter and light strike around. Easy pick up. So now, where do you go if you're EG? You don't want to purely rely on the anti mage. Oh, XZ is going to go for the hook. Yeah, he managed to uh, force that blink away and was hoping to be able to get the hook yeah. on RTZ, but. It's to mail in Peter, I think, at this point. To, uh, or, of course, the Darkseer with the big plays. He doesn't have a four staff, which is the build of choice versus the clock of rush. Samael is going to be jumped, and this is not the hero they can afford to lose first. They do manage to get the skewer back, but it's Garter. He's still tanking as all hell, and CDC are just going to keep moving forward. They got Universe. He managed to force self himself out of the cogs, but now they're going to Winter's person to make sure he does stay down. Two heroes down on the side of EG, and CDC on the retreat. Doesn't look like EG. Ooh, to bottom, it looks like. Their position is pretty good, though. Look at Aggressive. He's just sitting right behind. He doesn't want to beat on the tower. This is the discipline that we see from CDC and why they tend to not give up a lead. Whoa! Quick RP, they're just gonna content themselves with one free pick off of Clockwork, it seems, and maybe the deny on that tier 2 tower. But Peter's actually gonna lose his line to Aggressive, who advances forward with the Remnant. Now Shiki's gonna find an additional hero off the Yule Scepter, or Staff away, and the Light Strike Ray actually misses. They ensure the tier 3 tower does go down. Now they get the chains on the universe. He turns around, managed to get the vacuum to interrupt Shiki for a second, but the kill still comes out for him beyond godlike by 19 minutes. That option is almost eliminated, unless you find them like in the Roach Pit, or unless they push high ground. They're actually gonna hex up Gardner, but PVD is gonna be the casualty here as the hookshot lands. They get him a four staff, but he's on the wrong side of the cogs. And we'll go down some mail, snag that regen rune, and back out ahead of Cheeky, just ever so barely. The normal after this T2 is down and then still starve EG. As far as late game solutions to anti mage, I think you guys just a farm under spirit. Okay, here's a nice pick off XD. Looks like he's gonna be going down. Is there gonna be any other like other casualties from EG? Nice RP, but the old scepter actually goes off first from Cheeky. They manage to lock down RTZ and they're gonna be able to finish him off with the help of the chains. Now they turn on to Fear, who as tanky as he is, should be going down nice and quick. EG lose two, and there's the buyback from the clockwork PPD. Nice out there from him. That was still really close. The anti almost got that. Maybe Zeke over the tier 2 tower. 
<laughs> Why do you think uh, XD chose to buy back there? I mean, it's relatively cheap this early on to the game, but he's now going to be skewered back, and this could be uh, a die back in a way, but there is going to be fights for it around it. Nice vacuum into the ice bath, and the ultimate comes out. Arteezy takes out two, and maybe they can burst two. They need to be able to chase this one out, and they could actually have a bit of a comeback here on EG's end. They've managed to block up. Gardner get the third kill there. Double kill for Arteezy. I think they saw aggressive BOT bottom, and then that was, that was he just dies without being able to do anything in return. I kind of like this build. Um, we used to see Jakiro's Samail. Oh, he got that 17%. Maybe this is enough damage. Oh my god, another bad. Samail's dead. <laughs> Holy cow. Ch he's getting charged up right now. I don't, it. I don't know if he's going to... He doesn't have a TP up. This could be bad. Peter's kind of smoked around, but there's three heroes here. Yeah. Oh, PBD, you've got to stop this one. The charge is going to be able to complete. He stops the follow-up, though. RTZ is going to be Winter's Curse, though. And that's the nail in the coffin, I think, for RTZ. He will go down. CDC will get the additional kill on a PBD, obviously. And with uh, two down, CDC will take control of the map once again. Universe, make it a third. He's going to be able to force staff away. Oh, the Light Striker ain't misses, but with the Agonim's upgrade and level three Laguna Blade, Shiki gets the kill anyway. Kind of like last game, it's like, okay, we're losing, but we're just going to keep throwing bodies and bodies and bodies until we win the fight because we're that confident in our fighting abilities. So. CPD, they were hoping to be able to rotate into Roshan. He does kind of stall up aggressive at the same time. Farther up, the fight goes on. They charge on through. Samael managed to, uh, he got the skewer, but can't get off the RP on anybody there. XD, well, he holds in the fire, but it doesn't seem to matter. The mech will keep him alive. Fear will go down, and that just leaves our Dark Seer, which aggressive does manage to kill as well. EG, I mean, if game one was incredibly one Inside of DEGs, uh, suited inside, but if you fight outside, you can fight on your own terms. So they went for that, you know, 15,000 network fight instead of like a 25,000 high ground fight. And Arteezy. And hook shot managed to stop him. The fourth step away. Nope. There's a final right click out from Shiki. He's got no buyback. Forward, trying to get another one off the old scepter. He's got the line striker ready to stop the mail. Actually misses that one. He managed to get the steward back, which also brings the spirit breaker with the ultimate. He managed to get off the RP, but there's not a whole lot of ball. No, they actually managed to get the back. You three man back. While they take away that agent, and the rest of CDC are dropping a bit low. Garter looks like he may go down. Universe pursues down on him. Clockwork taken down to the tower. Ice Path just barely managed to stop him there. And it's going to be Shiki right in the middle of this base, backing up with aggressive and Q. They're going to go for the tier 3 tower now. The Fear can actually stall up their push enough that his teammates can revive. CDC's not scared, scared though. They, they don't have any bio, uh, any ultimates on EG, even if they were to buy on 5. The only one they have left was that AM ultimate, because obviously they picked him off first, backing back into the ice path, get a decent amount of damage out from that dual breath, but they'll now land the light strike right. Universe is dead. As an Octarine core just going to work. Nice Winter's Curse to kind of quick escape. Now they're going to be able to get PPD as well. Anti-Major's respawning. Just jumps right on in, and they are missing out on a significant amount of mana. they got to really be careful with this. Hex comes forward. Cheeky is going to go down here in a second. He's pull the brace, stalling things up a bit. But, uh, well, he's got the Yules and the Light Strike Array, but he'll die eventually. Looks like you also going to be... Oh, wow. Just ahead of that ice bath. Clockwork, if he positions himself really aggressively, or maybe they're just gonna try and. Fight. They also don't have a tower on bottom, they can kind of approach from bottom. Oh, well, they got the hook shot. Managed to catch RTZ, bounce back with the cogs. He flings himself away, but there's still the charge, and he will be caught. That'll probably allow them to be able to. high ground, aside from the Aegis. Yeah, just giving a lot of respect to evil geniuses, making sure they mount to the largest possible advantage that they can. RTZ. Well, he's taking a lot of damage from the Statalist. With the charge coming in, they may actually be able to finish him off. They've still got the ultimate from Garter. Throws it out now, and yep, another pick off on Arteezy. Again, he still has buyback, but CDC may actually force that this time around. Is they're going to jump in. Hotshot actually kind of misses out there, and they managed to get the two-man RP over the wall. With Winter's Curse on the side, Q might manage to actually save those two heroes thanks to that control. The male manager force staff himself out back and gets laid out once again inside the clock this time around. And the ultimate from Arteezy isn't enough to finish off these heroes. Garter will go down, but looks like a blink out from Lita will be able to survive. Back out, Universe. Very low is going to tie to another sleight of fist if he's not careful. I don't know she how Lena was that full mana that entire time. She didn't even use on the Ember Spirit. But they can kind of tank up through the uh, through that. And then with the Solar and Glimmer on top, it's really easy. Fear might lose a gem right here. Yeah, but Gritty, he already uh, boots and traveled in. They managed to get the chains. That will ensure the kill. The uh, gem looks like is going to be recovered by PPD. Nice. But like, look at the restraint from aggressive. Like. Unlike some people. <laughs>
<laughs> you just can't help yourself sometimes, <laughs> can't. can you, Berlini? I really can't. You gotta He's fire those shots. All right, Gardner. Oh, the vacuum! That was a good one with a four-man vacuum over the top. Oh, the RPG doesn't actually get laid out enough to be able to control CDC. They're fighting back as Garcia pushes forward and will hunt down some mail. One, two, and he's gone farther up. It looks like our TP is still going to be fighting out. Charge on the universe is going to be able to push him and stop that TP. And our TP actually tries to go on aggressive, but the ultimate isn't enough. And CDC now keep on going. They're going to now turn towards our TP with the hook shot. The cogs push back. They'll control him enough. It'll die another time. They don't have an RP. And without their uh, anti mates, there's just no chance of EG being able to fight this one out. A frenetic team fight, but it all goes to CDC, who don't drop a single hero in that fight. Wow, what if they had RP'd after that four-man vacuum? I don't yeah. know if they would have enough damage, but... Played that game so well, it seemed like... Uh...